We are back with game 2 between High and Nash catching game up for ulti playoffs round 1. This team is pretty easy to break down on high side. Probably AV Tangrowth, otherwise Mega Alakazam is a huge threat to his team, also helps with stuff like Coco. Then if Tang is AV, that packs can be a bit more Fizz Def, like mixed defensive with some Fizz Def, some Spid Def. Then either this or this is the Z user, I'm thinking this wants to be Helmet though. Um, Defog Torn, Rocky Helmet helps check Kartana. Then um, probably either Steelium or Inferno Overdrive on the Heatran. One of these two is the Rocker. Um, the Tar is either Bandit or Mega. If it's Mega, it would be the Rocker. If it's Bandit, then Trend could be the Rocker. And the Lano is most likely Scarf to round out the team. And Ash Catching Gamer brings a sample team. I'm pretty sure there's a team that said Dirt's made, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if I remember the sets correctly, it's 4 attacks Mega Mawile, Assault Vest Megirna, Defensive Rocks land with HPS U turn Earthquake Rocks, Scarf Ladi, which is kind of bad in my opinion, and then Specs Ash Ninja and Z Move Tapu Lele with. Um, all out pummeling, if I'm not mistaken. Moonblast, Psyshock, and Taunt. Um, I'm gonna pull up the sample team right here to um, check all the sets on my other browser. Um, the model is Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Fire Thing, Iron Head. But yeah, turn one um, high is free to go for HPIs here. Uh, Ash Ketchum Gamer is either gonna switch out into his um, Greninja as a potential play. Or um, he can just get up the rocks, or he can also go for HPIs to weaken High Scarf Lando. Um, I think it's in his interest actually to weaken the High Scarf Landris, because Scarf Landris is, looks really annoying for Ash Ketchum Gamer. Um, so yeah, we could either see um, them trade HPIs turn 1, or we could see um, rocks from Ash Ketchum Gamer. If High doesn't want to take a HPIs, he could also. Switch out into like tornadoes, but I think high is pretty free to go for HPIs. Um, if Edge Catch Gamer predicts HPIs and goes into Greninja, high um, has good counterplay for Greninja. And like, I don't think there's any way um, Edge Catch Gamer is gonna go hard more while predicting HPIs. That would be a wild play, actually. Um, yeah, I assume we're either gonna see HPIs trade or um, rocks from Edge Catch Gamer and HPIs from high. And um, yeah, the Greninja specs, it's confirmed. The Megina's Volt Switch, HP Fire, Iron Head, Flurken. So there's the HPIs and there are the rocks. So now, <coughs> Ash Catch'em Gamer, we see it's Leftovers, Land or Not Helmet, which, yeah, it's exactly. It's 40 speed, 28 speed, 192 defense, 284 HP, Impish. Um, he should switch out here into either Greninja, Megina, um, Hiken, either just HPIs again, or he can make a double. Um, <clears throat> Double into Heatran as a potential play here, but I think HPS again is also fine. Like, double into Pex or double into Heatran are options because if Ash Catching Gamer wants to go Megiana or Morwell here on the HPIs, and knowing that the Lando is most likely locked in, uh, double into Heatran would cover that. If Ash Catching Gamer stays in, he's not gonna go for Earthquake. Um, so Heatron is definitely potential double, Pex is a potential double, but High can also just HP his again because High has checks for uh, most of Ash catching Gamers Month that could come out on HPI, so I think he's fine to go for HPIs. And he does just HPIs and Ash catching Gamers sacks his Landers, which, um, yeah, I don't like that play. I don't know why he did that. Landers could have still been useful later in the game. Because um, now. Uh, whenever High gets of a defog with either Scarf Lando or with Torn, most likely with um, I think Thomas is defogger, then uh, Ash Catching Gamer has no way to get the rocks back up because he just sacked his rocker. Um, but yeah, now <clears throat> he has a lot of potential plays here. He can pretty much go to whatever he wants to. He can go Megina and click Volt Switch because uh, High wouldn't want to stay in on Megina if he's locked into HPS, which he most likely is. Um, Mobile, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Fire Fang, Iron Head. Which means Mawa is actually quite annoying for him. I mean, High has um, Heatran, which can check the Mawa, but it's not the best answer. But yeah, he goes in the Lele instead. It's also a threat. So this is a Phytanium, Focus Blast, Side Shock, Moon Blast, Taunt, Lele. What High is gonna have to do here is. <clears throat> hmm. Like, Heatran is a huge threat, and Heatran is also good for the Mawa, so I don't think he wants to go hard into his Heatran. Mm mm mm. I think Ash Ketchum Gamer is either gonna Psyshock or Moonblast. I don't think he's gonna go hard for all out pummeling. Um, what is highest play here? T 
Tita or Torn, Tita or Torn. I don't know if he wants to throw the Tornadoes in because Tornadoes can defog. But Tornadoes can technically live any one hit because this is Psyshock Moonblast and Focus Blast. Like it doesn't have uh, Psychium, which means Torn should be able to live any one hit if it's max HP Rocky Helmet Torn. So I guess he could go Torn and get a defog off. Um, the Tangus is AV, which would take a lot from Psyshock. So I don't know if he wants... Like, Tangrus is really good. Um, Tangrus plus Pex plus Tita all check Greninja. Like, if Greninja dialogues in the Dark Pulse, Tita can bop it. Uh, I just know that Hai doesn't want to stay in here. That's really certain and obvious. So isn't it Tita just most likely um, a Mega Tar on the Psyshock? But this Lele is not locked in. It's all out pummeling. Uh, so high, I think high. Um, he can. Look, I don't know if he's looked up this team on forum. He can look up this teams on forum if he knows it's a sample team. But I think a pivot into Torn here is a good play. Uh, even if Ash catching Gamma Psyshocks again, if it's max HP Torn with potential a uh, little bit of defense investment, it can guarantee live any one hit from the Lele, even the Psyshock, and it can also live Moonblast, and it would also cover the all-out pummeling that um, Ash catching Gamma might go for here. Yeah, since Hai has been taking Hai has been taking his time, which makes me think he looked up this guy's team because he, this guy also used that team to ladder with for OT, and it's a known team, it's a sample team. Why would you not look it up? He goes in the tornado scouting for focus blast. Psyshock's um, knowing that he doesn't want to sack the Titar. And now Torn <coughs> Torn can either go for Defog or um, Yeah, I think Defog is always the play here. Because like you don't want a hurricane into potential AV Megana. And even if Lilith stays in, like if you defog, the rocks are gone for the rest of the game, so why would you not just defog? Um, Tornadoes is not really needed in this game. Like you have answers for Greninja, the Ladi is not a problem at all. You have a Tita that's probably gonna be able to pursue the Scarf Ladi later in the game. Um, you have a Scarf Landris that um, actually looks really scary late game. If I can get rid of the Ladi. Um, Landros just clicks Earthquake versus Ash's team and wins, like U-turn and Earthquake. So now Landros comes back in. Obviously, um, Earthquake doesn't kill from here, I think, so Thum Hai is just gonna U-turn out here. And he can U-turn and then either sack the Titar or he can U-turn into his Tangrowth. Uh, I feel like Ash catching Gamma here wants to go for either Moonblast or Focus Blast. One of the two, but he wants to go for some, maybe not Moonblast, he wants to hit the Heatran hard and he wants to hit the Tangros here on the switch. So uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think it's either Psyshock or Focus Blast, one of the two. Because those, Psyshock still hits Heatran decently hard, Psyshock also hits Tangros good because it's probably um, AV Tang like I said earlier. And Focus Blast will also hit Heatran and actually wouldn't hit Tangros that hard. So it's between Sashok and Focus Blast here. I'm pretty sure High is just going to U-turn to get some chip on this Tabu Lele. And the Landris is really valuable. Even though Landris could eat a Sashok or a Moonblast, there's no reason to Earthquake here. Because this Landris like literally wins for High if he plays it correct. Um, he can easily check the Lari between Heatran, Tangros, Titar and... If he gets rid of that late in the game, he can just spam Earthquake and win with some chip on um, Lele. So that's why he should just get the chip here with U-Turn. And actually, Earthquake also doesn't kill Megina from full, so he still needs chip on that. U-Turn uh, is super free here for high. Mm. Ash catching Gamma also doesn't really have a switch in, because like Ladi would get gets barbed. Like, if he switches out, he loses momentum. U-Turn is always the player. Yeah, Earthquake does 34, so... What does he go for? Goes for Focus Blast, anticipating Heatran or Tita. Probably um, mainly Heatran, because I think he outspeeds the Tita with the Lele anyway and could destroy it the next turn. So that was mainly to hit Heatran on the switch and to it KO it. Um, but yeah, Tangros eats that up, confirming that it's probably AV. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And now, <clears throat> Psyshock would not kill this. Mm, knockoff wouldn't do anything. I don't know if Earthquake killed. If Earthquake kills, I think Earthquake is a good play here for high. Um, he can run the Kalk now. Sandstorm ends this turn. I think my Earthquake is gonna do around 40%. Um, actually gonna open the calculator in my secondary browser real quick. He goes hard into Mega Morwell. So does he Earthquake? No, he goes for Sludge Bomb. Okay, so um, he does have Sludge Bomb to have extra ways to like to be sure he can never lose to Tapu Bulu. Um, to fish for poisons versus stuff like Megaladi on the Switch. Uh, Heatran was a fine play there. 
because he knows the team, he can li literally look the team up and he knows this is not focus punch. And now he's pretty free to just get up the... Um, oh wait, he doesn't have rocks, yeah, yeah. So he goes for Inferno Overdrive and bobs the Gren. Yeah, so he is Zemo of Greninja. Uh, Zemo of Heatran, I'm mixing up the things here. And he can either go to Tangrowth or he can go to Toxapex. Or if he has Protect, he can also click Protect. Um, or either go Tang or Pex. And he does show have Protect. Okay, so... He is a Protect Zemo feature, and um, the reason why he has Protect and doesn't have Leftovers, um, that's used versus that helps him a lot in the Banned Katana matchup to just scout what it wants to lock itself into. That also helps versus Scarf Landris, because if they lock themselves into <coughs> U-turn as you Protect, that puts them in a really bad position. And now he goes into Tangros knowing that he can lift two hits, but he gets crit. Uh, without the crit, I think that would have done... Yeah, I don't think that would have tweet killed. Maybe it would have been a roll, but I think he could have lived too without the crit. And even if it tweet kills, he still has extra checks for the Greninja. So now, um, <clears throat> Megina or Morwell might come back out here because I showed Sludge Bomb earlier, which would kill the Lele. I'm now gonna run the Kalk if, um, if Earthquake would have killed the Lele from 42%. Um, Earthquake does... <clears throat> man, why do I have Obama snow? A, a bammer. A bomber snow. No, Tangrowth... Why does this Tangrowth not have Earthquake? Tangrowth Assault West. Earthquake does 32 to 38 to Tabu Lily, so it does not kill, which is why he went... Um, which is why he went for a Sludge Bomb earlier. So it was the correct play not to go for Earthquake, because, like, Marvel coming in wasn't too bad for him. And now... <clears throat> Scarf Landris... Um, I think you just click Earthquake here, right? The, like, Earthquake destroys everything besides the Ladi. And if the Ladi comes out, you still have a Tita in the back. And you have... Yeah, you have a Tita in the back. So I think you're free to click Earthquake here. Obviously, U-turn on a potential Ladi would be a huge flex. But on the other side, U-turn um, here, which would not kill the Lily, I think. Uh, would be potential misplay if the Lily stays in? So, pretty sure um, Earthquake is a fine play here. I mean, this game... Ash Catching Game is up 1-1, but I think High is still fine, because this Scarf Landers literally destroys him. Um, the only thing he has to watch out for is Water Shuriken from Ash Ninja, but he has uh, Pex in the back. So he does Earthquake into the Ladi. I agree with Earthquaking, though. And now, Tita is kind of obvious, so maybe Ash Catching Gamer wants to pull a double here. I don't think Hai is gonna risk Earthquaking into the double because that's a potential um, throw. This Landros literally wins if he plays it right with some chip, like I said. So this is a Scarf Ladi with um, Draco Meteor. Um, what else does it have? Trick, Psy Shock, and Defog. So either has to Draco or he has to double here. Um, even if he doubles into Morwell, um, if the Tita has Fire Punch, that would still be. Hmm. I don't know if they wouldn't, they probably wouldn't Oko the mobile though. But I don't know if doubling the mobile gets you that much here, is what I'm trying to say. So he might just Draco, um, there's the Tita, he, he, didn't, he didn't double I think, because the Lando switched out first and the Ladi is Scarf, which means it would have sped the Scarf Lando and the Ladi would have switched out first if the Ladi switched out, because if you're faster you switch out first. But yeah, he just Dracos and now if this um, Tita has Pursuit, I should go for it, remove the Ladi, which is... The only ground immunity, um, the only one immune to Earthquake at this point, if he pursues it, as he does show the pursuit, Bob. Now Landris um, literally wins with Earthquake. Um, maybe he needs some more, yeah, he needs some more chip on the Megiana, but everything else just dies to Earthquake. And then he also has to scout, obviously, he can scout for Water Shuriken, um, but he has a Pex in the bag. So he's free to sack his Tyranitar. Then, come, yeah, sack Tyranitar, and then. That's the other pummeling, okay, because he doesn't want to risk missing, and I don't know if Moonblast kills if it's really bulky Tita. And he did also pummeled in case the trend come out, came out, I guess. Now Landris literally gets the kill with just Earthquake. And... Because <clears throat> Lele would die. Um, Megina gets 2 hit KO'd as Megina comes out, which can probably live one, because it's like max HP. Yeah, it's max HP with 8 defense, as it says here. And yeah, Landris just Earthquakes again, picks up the Megina. And now he has to go into Greninja, I think, and click Water Shuriken and hope that he gets enough hits. 
<clears throat> but hi. Um, their psychic terrain is up, but Water Shuriken works because Landris is not on the ground. Landris is in the air, which means Water Shuriken does affect Landris. Um, that's how terrain works. It so you can, like the Water Shuriken. His high should always go into his Toxapex, knowing if the Water Shuriken gets too many hits, his Landris dies, and the Greninja gets Ash, and he could potentially lose. That's a throw. Pax is super free. Even if Edge Catching Gamer predicts this and doubles, um, I think at this point Edge Catching Gamer has to make an aggressive play. He has to either <clears throat> double into like um, Morwell or Lele here to try to get a kill. Because um, the Morwell has Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Fire Thing, Iron Habit, which has good coverage versus the rest of his team. As he does make that double into Morwell, knowing that the Pex or Tren. Yeah, knowing the Pex is going to come out. You wouldn't go Tren there on the sh Water Shrink. So, a yeah, good play on Ash Catching Gamer, um, knowing that High is not going to risk losing the land risk to the Water Shrink. And now, Thunder Punch is most likely going to come out. Because um, there's no reason for high to risk. There's no reason for high to go hard into Landers and risk the Mawa going for Ice Punch and destroying the Landers. So I agree with going Heatran. Um, now Heatran is just going to Magma Storm here. Even the Mawa doesn't have Sucker Punch. Uh, even if he changed the Mawa to Sucker Punch, high has no reason to click anything other than Magma Storm. Um, Magma Storm kills the Lele at this range, kills the Mawa, especially if it's not Sucker. And I don't remember, I think Greninja is still quite healthy, right? But if Greninja comes out, High is free to go back into Pax. And even if... Like, if Greninja comes out here, High can just go Pax. And if he Magma Storms and hits, the opponent can't even double because Magma Storm traps him in. But he does miss a Magma Storm on the leader. Um, that's annoying for High, but I don't think it's bad for... Like, it's annoying, but I think it's still fine, is what I'm trying to say. Um, now the Lele can obviously outspeed and pick off the Heatran here, because I assume it's just Timid Max Speed Lele, as it says here on the sample team. Uh, let me scroll real quick to ensure to protect. Um, I don't think he had a reason to protect. I guess that would have covered a random double into Mawile. That's pretty obvious. Um, oh, he goes hard landers. Okay, okay. So um, the reason why he went hard landers is because he knows he can live any one hit. He, he probably ran a Kalk and he knows he can live Moonblast, Psyshock, Focus Blast, Yuck. I don't know why you would ever Moonblast there. Scarf Earthquake uh, picks off the Lele. Scarf Earthquake literally got a kill there. No reason to Moonblast though. He should have Psy Shocked. Which would have hit everything on High's team harder than Moonblast. That was a misplay that is not going to change the outcome. I'm pretty sure High has the game anyway. Um, as he does just go into packs. Water Shuriken does not affect the packs. But it would have affected the Landris. Not sure why the Smog to chat is going so wild. Because um, Landris is in the air, which means it does get affected. So now... <clears throat> he has to switch out into Mega Mawal. Um, Hi is probably just gonna click Scald here, which gets him good chip on the Mawile. And if the Mawile doesn't die to Earthquake from full, the Scald chip guarantees that the Mawile now dies to Earthquake. And he gets the burn, and that burn pretty much means game over. Um, yeah, I don't see Ash Catching Gun winning at this point. Uh, High is free to sack his Heatran here, then come back in with the Landris as Greninja doubles in. He just clicks T-Spikes, which is also a completely fine play because the Mawile was burned, which means it couldn't hurt. The Toxapex too too much, um, but he could have also gone Heatran there. Like it didn't make a difference, I think. Uh, Landorus plus Toxapex won at this point, so he's staying in here, which is fine. Like he could also just sack the Heatran and then, knowing that the Greninja is locked into Dark Pulse, he can sack Heatran here and then go land on Earthquake and win from there. But he can also um, stay in as long as he doesn't get flinched here. He doesn't mind this. He knows that the Greninja is Specs. Or, or one, he could look up the guy's team because it's on the forums, and two, he knows from the damage that the Greninja is Choice Specs. And this Pex, I think it's Spadev, but it has some sort of Fist Dev investment, just like I guessed at Team Preview. If he gets a crit there, which obviously doesn't make a difference, just speeds up the game. And now um, he knows he can't win, because the mobile, even if it wasn't burned, would just die to Landris. Earthquake, and he can also have Magma Storm, which he could, I guess, had, would have to dodge. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. High wins 2 0 versus Ash Catchem Gamer. And this um, OLT series. Stay tuned for more of these. Um, the next series, I think, is ABI vs. Mimolet on Thursday. I'm going to bring you guys that. Um, stay tuned for more Smoke on Snake Draft coverage. My man Seal is going to be doing LC. Hopefully, I can get my man Ultra Balls to do some RU games and Count. Count. Hopefully, we'll do some more NU games. And I will, if not, I will do some. ask some other friends if they are good at lower tiers and help me with UU, RU, NU, or LC games for Smoke on Snake Draft that I will record. 
And I will do all the OU games. And stay tuned for more content. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day.